Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Windows Phone 7 and Android on your HTC HT2 device. First thing I'd recommend is backing up all these settings and applications um, via a program called Titanium Backup. I've got a video on my channel on how to do this and I'll leave a link in the description and on the video um, that will take you to the video showing you how to back up everything. Um, so the app looks like this um, and <clears throat> once you've installed the app and you've backed everything up you're going to need to find a folder on your SD card called Titanium Backup. Back up this folder to your computer so that when you've flashed Android and Windows Phone 7 you'll be able to put the Titanium Backup folder back onto your SD card and then reinstall all your settings and applications. But if you don't want to back up any of your settings then just ignore this part of the video. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is flash Windows Phone 7 onto your device. So. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description and on the video on how to do that uh, as I've got a video on my channel on how to flash it to your device. So that's the first thing you're going to need to do. Next thing you're going to need to do is make sure you have a SD card in your device, um, preferably about uh, an 8 gigabyte SD card um, and then you're pretty much set to go. So make sure your SD card's in, go to settings. I'll start this again so you can see where I went. Go to settings once you're in Windows 7, down to about, and press reset your phone. Press yes, yes, and your phone will now restart and it'll reset to factory default settings. Now when it boots up you have to make it go into mag loader so don't let it boot into Windows 7 again. So make sure you hold down the power button as your device reboots and here we go it's coming on now so wait after the splash screen now hold the, the power button down and there we go we're in mag loader so now what you have to do is take your SD card out there we go and the next step is you're going to have to put it into a card reader on your computer so once you put it in your card reader uh, plug it into your computer and I'll show you the next steps from the computer. Right, now that your SD card's plugged into your computer, you're ready to install ASUS Partition Manager. Yeah, I'm going to leave a link in the description and a link on the video so that you can download this and install it. I'm going to run you through the installation so you know how to do that. Um, so the first thing is download it. Um, it'll be in a zip file. Uh, extract the zip file and double click epmsetup.exe. Accept any prompts that the computer asks you for and just wait for the setup to pop up um, press next through this, accept the terms and conditions press next again, next to the default directory um, next and next again you don't have to put a name in, press install right now that it's installed uh, just press finish and go ahead and open it up so open ASUS partition manager Right, now that you have your SD card plugged into your computer and ASUS Partition Manager open, um, what you've got to do is you'll see this disk 3 here, or it could be disk 4 or disk 5 for you, but you'll notice that it says FAT16 and then unformatted below it. Uh, what you've got to do is right click on unformatted, press delete, press OK, and press apply. Press yes, and it'll delete that partition. So press OK, wait for the system to update. Right, now you're ready to make your partition for your Windows Phone 7 OS. So right click unallocated, press create, press yes, and make sure create as is set to logical, file system is set to unformatted, and then bring this left slider down as far as you need it. Remember this will be your Windows Phone 7 OS partition. Uh, so make it as big as or the size that you need so however much data or music or pictures or videos you can have on it uh, make it big enough for that but the one thing you do have to make sure is that the partition size here is bigger than the unallocate space before so as you can see mine's bigger press OK now press apply press yes wait for it to do its thing press OK and let it update the system again now you've done those first two steps, you're ready to put your SD card back into your phone. So I'm going to show you that uh, from the phone side. Right, now I'm back on my device. Uh, you should still be on the mag loader screen. You're ready to boot into Windows Phone 7. So 
Remember it's the top option, press down the core key and it should boot your phone into Windows Phone 7. And now the device is set up and ready to go, just go into settings, go down to about and just have a look at your total storage. So if that looks right, um, then you're ready to go. So what you have to do now is power down your device. So just power it down fully. Make sure it does turn off because sometimes the screen can go slightly dark like it is now, but it's not actually fully turned off. So make sure it's fully off. Um, and then we're going to have to remove the SD card again and put it back into the computer. So I'm going to go back to the computer now and show you what to do from there. Right, now your SD card should be back into your card reader and uh, showing up on your computer. Um, open ASUS Partition Manager again and then right click on FAT16, press resize and move and then move this slider here, the right slider, all the way to the end. So make sure it's all the way to the end, press OK, tick apply and then press yes.